Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 6 minigame review. Today we're reviewing the Bowser minigame, Dizzy Rotisserie. Man, first dark and crispy and now Dizzy Rotisserie. Bowser really likes his food. Yeah, I think he's trying to cook us. That's pretty much exactly what he's trying to do. This one's a lot like Dizzy Dancing from Mario Party 2 where everybody has really wonky controls and you have to try and figure out which direction on the control stick will move you forward. But instead of trying to be the first one to reach the music note in the middle, everyone's just trying to reach the exit before time runs out. Whoever's still stuck inside when that happens is going to be burnt up by Bowser and become dark and crispy. I have to say, I really preferred Dizzy Dancing over this one. Yes, it's basically the same concept of a minigame, but what Dizzy Dancing did was made it really competitive and make it so you want to be the first one out. In this one, it's just whoever isn't out dies, so it makes it a little less competitive. Yeah, I agree. Basically, this minigame boils down to figuring out which direction is straight on your control stick at the beginning, and then just moving in that direction until you reach the doorway. I never really felt like there was a lot of challenge to this one. I mean, you'd kind of have to move around a few obstacles in the room, but other than that, there's not a whole lot of excitement. Once you figure out the right direction of your control stick, you pretty much have the minigame figured out, and I don't think there's a single time where we weren't able to win this one. It was pretty easy. Yeah, it really was. And even when we won, there wasn't that sense of accomplishment. It was just kind of like, okay, we did it, now what? Yeah, because it was so easy, it really just feels like going through the motions. I feel like if they did something to make this a little more challenging or exciting, it would go a long way. Like maybe the direction that you needed a hit to go straight on your control stick changed two or three times during the mini game. That way you'd constantly have to be figuring out how to go straight again. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or if there are more obstacles. Yeah, that's true. Like, maybe some of the statues in the room could blow out flames, and you'd have to be sure not to walk into those. If there was more of a challenge on which path you could take to the doorway, I also think that would go a long way to making this one more challenging and more fun. Definitely. Or maybe if the doorway wasn't always straight ahead. Like, maybe you had to make it all the way to the left or something. I just need a little bit more variety and challenge. So basically, there's tons of ways they could have made this one better, they just didn't. Maybe they'll try for the next Mario Party. And overall, I think that about sums this one up. If you like Dizzy Dancing, I guess this one is kind of comparable and fun, although we definitely preferred that one over this one. There's just not enough of a challenge to this one. More than likely, you'll win this one every time once you figure out which direction is straight on your control stick. And since there's really nothing else going on in this one, it becomes pretty forgettable. I wish it was more fun, but it really isn't, so we're giving it three stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Up next, we'll be reviewing Dust Till Dawn. Another one about chores. How great. Yippee. Looking forward to it. If you want to see what this mini game's about, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.